Clive. But Arantia knows that Steffi may have wobbled here in front and she has a tendency to do that, but behind she can play like the devil. Exactly. That's the perfect play. Even then she hung back just a little bit, but once she can strike that inside out, get the two-hander on the reach, making her virtually play at the end of her tether. Using the one hand here, it's going to be a lofted shot. Her title is hanging, and it's not a situation she's comfortable with. A fourth double. nearest we've had to sunshine during that particular point as if to celebrate the match Steffi's not playing as well as when she started. She had a tremendous first set of the very, very best tennis she can produce. She's played well since then, but not that well. Sanchez is returning so skillfully there. Look at that, she's giving Graf nothing to bite on initially. Keeping it low, keeping it hard. Graf, of course, looking for the soft return so she can run around. She's getting none of that. Barking out the encouragement. Great point. Arantia will be serving with a double break cushion for the title if she gets this point. She says no to Falanjic. And she, Arasha, wants to set it down. And uh, the crowd not too impressed. Sometimes that's the kind of thing that gives Arasha a bad name. Yes, I think more than sometimes. But it's... Uh, it's she just wants to win so badly and one can't fault her for that. And there is, after all, an official to make the final decision. Deuce So if he wants the same ball back. Very, very few players want the same ball that's gone into the net, back again. Her fifth double. A second break point. She put that away, Steffi looked up to the heavens and screamed. Well, it's the best forehand uh, that she's hooked, not this one, the one prior to it, because it's set it up. Such relief.
Fletcher's battling qualities all through this match, but Steffi now is clawing at her. She will not give up this title. Just amazing. And all she's done is hold herself. And people are standing up around the court.